Hey everyone, welcome to Learning My Tea. So, my name is Vasu, and today we are diving into something super practical and essential for any web developer building a responsive navbar in Angular new version. So, now if you are wondering what a responsive navbar is, it's a seek navigation bar. Uh, you can see at the top of most of the websites. So, here this is my website. So, if I go to any website, let's say Amazon or uh, uh, any website if you go to any website if i go to amazon directly here you can see our navbar go here just like this the black in color right so this is navigation but where you have a prime video logo home movies tv shows live tv subscription and join prime and if you go to flipkart there also you'll get it so let's say if i go to flip cart and here you can able to see our one more navigation bar over here as well so in most of the website we can able to see a different navigation bar so this navigation bar needs to be responsive so that's what we are going to do so why it's important well think about it most of you users are probably browsing on their mobiles or most of the people are seeing this video in the mobile as well or in the tab or in the laptop or in a big screen which you have a monitor okay if your navbar doesn't adapt to the screen for example so here is our uh, the uh, our last demo or uh, what we are going to build in this video is see this is our navigation bar this is the screen of ipad pro so if i select any uh, any mobile let's say samsung a51 or 71 so it is going to look something like this and if i select uh, samsung s8 it looks something like this and if i select pixel 7 it looks something like this so if I select any other, or let's say Galaxy Fold, it will look something like this. So based on the mobile screen or the monitor screen or the tab screen, your navigation bar needs to get adapted to it. Okay. So it doesn't adapt to smaller screen if you're making it harder for them to navigate your site. And let's be honest, nobody likes a frustrating user experience, right? So without a responsive navbar, your site looks broken or chunky on mobile devices but don't worry by the end of this video you're going to know exactly how to build one that looks great on any screen size so if i remove this so based on the screen size itself it's getting adopted right right see now you can see home about service contact if i make the screen small you can able to see three dots so then after clicking that i can able to see those options so this is what a navbar is and this is what a responsive navbar is that's what we are going to build in this video all right so let's get started so here uh, i have created a folder called angular over here so in the same folder i'll be creating the angular projects and upcoming videos as well means those project code will be there in this particular folder and hashtag download code from github I'll give the GitHub link in the description. Please just check out and you can download the code as well. All right. So let's build it. Okay. So now the first thing what we are going to do is let's open a command prompt. All right. And by the way, the version of Angular I'm using over here, let me show you. The version is Angular 17 version. All right. The Angular 17 version we are using. So 17.3.4 is the version which we are using. All right. So let's get started. The first and foremost thing what you need to do is you need to run a command okay so if you if you are not installed angular in your system there is a separate video how to install angular uh, in your system so please do check that out in the channel itself so that also i'll give you in the description as well so now let's create a project so to create a project we need to write a command ng ng means angular short form ng ng new let's say i'm going to give the project a name as it's a responsive navbar demo responsive navbar demo is the project name which i'm giving this will take uh, let's say some minutes to download so before that we have few options so what type of css you want to use or the styling you want to use you have sass and sass and less and i'm going to choose css which is Generally, most of the companies and most of you are familiar with would be CSS. So I'm going to choose CSS and this I'm going to give Y, which is going to be S. And here my project, uh, the base project setup 
installation gets started and this will take some minutes so based on your internet speed so we need to wait until this gets completed so this is going to start and will take some more time all right all right so if you see the screen the installation has been completed and you should get a message as packages installed successfully all right so everything has been installed properly so now what we are going to do is so we need to open this folder okay before that let's say code or let's say td responsive navbar which means we are going inside that project folder and let's say code space dot so this uh, piece of command is going to open a visual studio code in your current folder all right so just click on enter this is going to open a visual studio code over here so let me bring my visual studio code right. all right okay so now the first and foremost thing what we need to do is here go for the top and go for terminal and new terminal over here all right so here just select command prompt where we are going to run the command to create a new component all right the first and foremost thing we are going to create a component named as navbar so the command which you are going to give is ng means angular g means generate c means component and navbar all right navbar so ng generate component navbar so if you see if i expand source here inside app a new folder has been created called navbar if i expand this so there is one file this is not required it's not required you can delete it so the three major files are css html and ts file where we are going to write all the logic in this particular file all right so now what we are going to do is open this html file we'll write one basic navigation bar html code all right so we're going to use a bootstrap itself so navbar let's say like this nav all right so next uh, we need a app name or okay so uh, we need an app name so i am going to give as a div tag over here let's say class at the logo space itself like this logo and next what i'm going to do i'll give one hyperlink hyperlink like just like this so here instead of logo i'm going to give as my app all right so my app so next i'm going to create a list so how we had a list like home about contact see at the beginning right so same way we're going to give a tab space so this is all auto generated from the visual studio code itself or through the navbar tag so just give as closing ul tag or unordered list so here we have home about contact let me add one more which is going to be service okay service mode yeah done let me keep this out upper case right so next what we need is we need a toggle button see when we uh, reduce the screen size when we reduce the screen size it needs to bring up a toggle button so for that so i am going to write it as Dave, we are going to create a toggle button. So, div class. Uh, what I need, I need a menu toggle. So, we can use menu toggle and just press a tab space like this. So, this will be auto generated. All right. So, okay, toggle navbar. This is the method which you are going to write at the business or in the logic uh, file. So, which is going to be our TS file. So, this line is not required. So, what I am going to do is let me close this tag first. And here, let's say span and here i'm going to give as class is equal to bar class is equal to bar and same thing i'm going to keep the duplicates where it is a line okay three lines so copy this particular line copy it and pasting it so that we'll get a three different lines so here still we are getting the error okay so we'll fix this so we'll go to our component.ts file where we are going to write the logic of this. So here at the nav component and make sure the selector name is navbar. So this is what the important one is. Okay. So before that, anyway, we are having an error. Let me remove this method. Okay. As of now, let me remove this method. 
I'll start the application. Okay, I'll start the application. It will let me remove this as well. Okay, I'll start the application. I just wanted to show you how our application look like after the installation. So the command which you're going to give is ng serve. Okay, ng serve. This is the command which you're going to give to start your application. All right. So this will take couple of seconds to start, and we'll go to our browser over here. So I'm just using a new browser recently, which was launched by Geo. Uh, hashtag no promotion. So just I'm trying it out. All right. So by default, your Angular application will be running at the port number 4200. So that's why I have already given the 4200. But as of now, the server is not up. That's the reason local host refused to connect. So still, your application is getting started, and as you can see, the application started at the port number 4200. So this is the link. If you click on this link or copy this link, paste in your browser, the same link which I have already typed over here. So this is how your Angular application look like as of now. Okay. So this is by default when you create a new project. This is how it looks like. So where we have all this code, we have all this code in app.com.html so this we're going to touch uh, in few minutes so as of now i'm going to close this so let's write a let's fix this error means we need to write this method in our navbar comma.ts where we're going to uh, give an action uh, to perform that uh, close or open our uh, uh, action all right so i'm going to give is menu is menu open so when the menu is open or let me first it will be closed okay so i'm going to give that method which i have mentioned over there toggle navbar and here it's been auto generated directly this dot is menu open is equal to is not open all right if it is not open we'll open it all right first it is false if it is false we'll make it true all right okay cool so now a very simple and basic logic okay so now what we'll do we'll go to our app.com.html so whatever the code we have here this we need to delete it except one single line at the last which is router outlet just copy or select everything remove everything or delete everything just accept this particular line okay this is very important see the application already started so it is changing or it is reloading by itself if I go to my screen or the browser, now it looks blank. Whatever the information which was there earlier, it's completely empty now. All right. So if I type something, let's say some normal simple text, if I go to the browser, it will be present over here. Auto reload, it's enabled over here. So that's auto reload. And here we can see that simple text. So now at this place, we need our napper. So in napper common.ts, here you can see a selector. So just copy this. Okay, so this is a selector name. So this acts like a tag. So navbar open and close tag like this. Okay, so still we are getting this error. The reason because the app.com.html is unable to identify this. So for this, what we need to do means we we need to do one option which is pending. That is to go for app.com.ts file. Okay. So here you need to mention what type of component you are including over here. All right. So here at the import, just mention as your component name. Your component name is navbar component. Just mention that over here. All right, comma. So here you'll be getting an error that you need to import. If you don't get an option, see quick fix. Just click on quick fix. You'll get an add import navbar. So here the navbar has been imported, and here we don't have the error. So the compilation got successful. So if I go to the browser. The navbar looks something like this. Okay, your navbar looks something like this. The reason because you have written only the skeleton of HTML means a basic HTML code. You need a CSS, right? So let's add some CSS. Go to navbar common.css over here. Okay, so here I'm going to give the CSS directly. You can copy and paste it. So you can take the code directly and you can paste it. So it's normal CSS and you can modify as well. So here I have added the CSS and if I go to my browser now this is how my navbar looks like so still this is pending so the reason is here in the okay navbar okay this is done this is done let's see why it's not been enabled as of now all right so CSS has been done and toggle button is also done now let's 
refresh the page again oh okay so still we need to add few more things over here okay let's come to navbar com.html let's check what we have done okay so here we have mentioned a list over here so this is not required actually okay so if we mention router link it's going to specify a point by them. all right so let me remove this okay even this also not required so this and in place of that i'm going to keep href and i don't want to redirect to any place as of now so i'll keep it just as it is right like okay and like this all right so i also i'm going to give a class name over here class name is going to be nav link okay the reason because the lab links if i copy this and i'll go to my css here the code has been already written for the navigation bar so that's the reason i'm giving the class name as nav link logo everything looks fine now if i go to a browser and navigation bar looks something like this so my app home about content service so if i reduce the screen size like this so based on the screen size it's going to get the toggle button so when i click on the toggle button you're going to get the all the menu action all right okay so i'll minimize this you see so if i click on inspect work here and go for this vertical option based on mobile screen it adapts so if i click over here you can able to see all the menu files so if i select now uh, let's say responsive so it's going to be however you are expand so if you keep the mobile screen small or tap by something like this so based on the screen is going to get adopted all right so this is how our simple or the most important navigation bar is ready all right yes so and that's it everyone we just built a fully responsive navigation bar in angular from scratch so let's quickly recap what we have covered in this video all right so first we set up a basic html structure of our navbar then we added some of the uh, css work here and make it look great and work seamlessly across different screen size finally we, we used to add a logic for toggling the uh, mobile menu a pretty cool right this toggle button yes so now we can take this navbar and customize this further so in the css part so if you want to add change the color or the based on the color the logo color whatever you want you can adapt it and yeah so you can uh, add some animation integrate with angular router or even use in your next project and possibilities or endless all right so if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit a thumbs up and let's share it with anyone who might find it useful and if you have any questions or any ideas for future videos drop a comment below i'd like to hear from you right so thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on our new tutorial so until next time keep coding keep learning i'll see you in the next video until then take care goodbye bye bye